Welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. And today I don't really have so much a recipe as just a list and an assumption as to how they're all being put together. Either way, here's uh, some cranberry bread on this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. Since I really don't have instructions and all I have to go by is a list, I decided to use all of my baking knowledge to know that you mix all of the wet ingredients and then put it in the dry. So that's what we're doing. In a bowl here, I have one cup of sugar, and to it, I'm adding two eggs. Or if you want, one egg. That's what the recipe says here, but I went with two, living on the edge. Following that, I included the juice of one whole orange, the rind of said orange, three-fourths of a cup of boiling water, and two tablespoons of melted shortening. Then I mix it all together until well combined. Now comes the dry ingredients, which includes two cups of flour, one half teaspoon baking soda, one and a half teaspoons baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Fold that all together until you've got yourself a nice little dough. Next, the recipe calls for a cup of sliced fresh cranberries. Now, if you're not aware, it is not cranberry season. It is incredibly hard to find cranberries, and if you want to know how expensive it apparently is, go ahead and look on Amazon right now and see how much a pound of them are worth. So I found ourselves a little workaround online where you can take three-fourths of a cup. I mean, if you have a cup of cranberries, you use three-fourths of a cup of dry cranberries, cover them with water, put them in the microwave for a couple of minutes, and let them sit to absorb. It's not fresh cranberries, but... We do what we can. With your surrogate fresh cranberries, you're gonna throw those into the dough along with one and a half cup of nut meats. Since we've been using walnuts way too much recently, I decided to change it up and put some uh, almonds in there. Mix it all together, and then put that into your loaf pan, put in the oven for about 60 to 70 minutes at 350 degrees, and voila, you've got yourself cranberry bread. How's it taste? First off, the texture is a bit sticky and hard. I think it baked a little too long. It's a bit tough and maybe a little too orangey. I bet you if it was fresh cranberries, it would probably be a little bit nicer, but as it stands, it's okay. But it's a good jumping off point. It's all right. Uh, thank you all for watching. This has been another edition of Grandma's Cookbook. Come back next week with another page and another recipe. We'll see you then.